Apple's decision to transition from Intel chips to its own Apple Silicon M series processors was one of the biggest shifts in the company's history. Announced in June 2020 and first implemented with the M1 chip in late 2020, this move fundamentally changed Mac computers. The transition was driven by several key factors, including performance, efficiency, thermal management, and Apple's long-term strategic vision. Let's break down the main reasons Apple ditched Intel and what this means for the future of computing. Performance and Efficiency Gains One of the biggest reasons Apple moved away from Intel was performance bottlenecks and power efficiency limitations. Apple's ARM-based architecture versus Intel's x86. Intel processors are built on the x86 architecture, a powerful but older design that requires more power and produces more heat. Apple's M-series chips use ARM architecture, which is optimized for power efficiency, similar to chips used in iPhones and iPads. ARM processors consume less power while delivering better performance, making them ideal for lightweight, battery-dependent devices like MacBooks. Benchmarks M-series versus Intel when Apple launched its M1 chip, it immediately outperformed Intel's chips in key areas. M1 Macs outperformed Intel Macs in both CPU and GPU tasks while using a fraction of the power. The MacBook Air M1 had no fan, but still matched or beat Intel's high-end MacBook Pro models in various tasks. Apple's M2 and M3 chips further extended this lead with better multi-core performance and faster machine learning capabilities. Real-world benefits. Better battery life. MacBooks with Apple Silicon can last up to 20 hours on a single charge. Intel. MacBooks lasted around 10 to 12 hours. More consistent performance. Apple Silicon Macs don't suffer from thermal throttling as much as Intel Macs. Instant wake up. Like iPhones and iPads, Macs with M-series chips wake up immediately, while Intel Macs had a slight delay. Intel's struggles and slow innovation. Intel's delayed chip advancements. Apple's reliance on Intel meant that its Mac lineup was dependent on Intel's chip roadmap. However, Intel faced years of delays in moving to smaller, more efficient chip designs Intel struggled with the transition from 14 nanometers to 10 nanometers chips, causing Apple to release only minor Mac updates between 2016 and 2019. Meanwhile, Apple's chip supplier, TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, had already moved to 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers technology, giving Apple a chance to develop its own more advanced processors. Apple's frustration with Intel. Apple publicly complained about Intel's lack of progress. Some Intel Mac models suffered from overheating and poor battery life, leading to fan noise issues and performance throttling. Apple was also frustrated with security flaws in Intel processors, such as Spectre, and Meltdown, which required software patches that hurt performance. By developing its own chips, Apple freed itself from Intel's delays and could release Macs on its own schedule. Tighter, hardware and software integration. Apple's business model has always been about controlling both hardware and software. By designing its own chips, Apple was able to optimize macOS specifically for Apple Silicon, leading to faster performance and better efficiency. Seamlessly integrate features from iPhones and iPads into Macs. Improve security with features like the Secure Enclave, which enhances privacy and encryption. Universal apps 
and Rosetta 2. One challenge of switching from Intel to Apple Silicon was app compatibility. Apple solved this with Rosetta 2, a technology that allowed Intel-based apps to run smoothly on M1 Max. Over time, developers began making native apps for Apple Silicon, further improving speed and efficiency. Now, most major applications, Adobe, Microsoft, etc., are fully optimized for M-series chips, improved GPU and AI performance. Apple's M-series chips include powerful integrated GPUs, removing the need for dedicated graphics cards in most Mac models. Intel Macs relied on separate graphics chips from Intel or AMD, leading to higher power consumption and less efficiency. The M1, M2, and M3 chips include built-in GPUs that rival or outperform dedicated GPUs in many tasks. Apple's Neural Engine, AI, and Machine Learning. Apple Silicon also comes with a Neural Engine, which is designed for AI and machine learning tasks. This helps in features like image processing, speech recognition, and real-time video editing. Intel's chips lack dedicated AI processing, making Apple Silicon better suited for AI-driven apps, cost savings, and supply chain independence. By switching to its own chips, Apple no longer has to buy processors from Intel, which saves Apple money. Intel chips were expensive, eliminates supply chain risks. Intel's chip shortages often delayed Mac production, allows Apple to innovate faster, New chip releases are no longer dependent on Intel's schedule. The future, Apple's ARM-based roadmap. With Apple Silicon, Apple now has complete control over the future of Macs. The company has already released the M1, M2, and M3 chips with massive performance gains in each generation. Introduced M-series chips in iPads, making them almost as powerful as MacBooks, started developing its own 3 nanometer and future 2 nanometer chips with TSMC. What's next? Apple is expected to launch M5 chips, which will further enhance AI capabilities. The company may introduce even more powerful Mac Pro and Mac Studio models with extreme performance. Apple could eventually merge Mac OS and iOS apps making a fully unified Apple ecosystem. A game-changing decision. Apple's move away from Intel was a bold and strategic decision that paid off massively. With better performance, efficiency, battery life, and future-proof technology, Apple Silicon is now the standard for Macs. Meanwhile, Intel has been struggling to catch up showing that Apple made the right choice in ditching Intel. Apple's control over both hardware and software has led to some of the fastest, most efficient, and most powerful computers in the market today. The transition to Apple Silicon has reshaped the entire Mac lineup and likely the future of computing itself.